guys, it's Sarah and I'm getting started on my December daily for 2017. I'm going to be working hopefully on the first seven days in this video. I'm thinking I can make all of that work. I also have to do my opening page so you'll be seeing kind of my cover page if you will. So I'm going to be doing both of those today. I have all my pictures printed here. I have my list of what I want to record each day. I keep this going on during the month. That way if I fall behind or something, I at least have my plans. But I have all of my pictures ready to go. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and get started. And if you have not seen my video on what I'm using yet, you can um, check the playlist that this video is linked in, which is, I believe, December Daily Albums. And uh, you can see the kits that I'm planning on using here. And I pulled a couple little things as well. I pulled some washi tape from my stash. I have some gold washi tape. I have this little gold stars. I have a gold glitter. And then this is a very, very micro skinny uh, gold kind of like a airstripe, I guess you could say, or an airmail stripe. And I'd like to go ahead and use this up. This came in an Ellie Edwards kit a few years ago, and there's not that much left. Um, most of this is cardboard here, so there's not a ton of this left on here. I'd like to go ahead and use that up. And I am just going to see what's going to work for me. So for the opening of my album, I'm definitely going to be using one of these... Um, two by two slotted page protectors here. And it is, pardon me, I'm gonna open this. Um, these are all two by two squares. So um, there's 12 of these. So this is gonna be my opening. I'm gonna do a lot of kind of like see-through type of things. I'm not gonna fill them all up with a ton of stuff, but I'm gonna have it be kind of see-through. And I would like to have this picture of our family that we took at my husband's work and have that kind of be behind it. So not only is there gonna be stuff inside, but you can also kind of see through to our family picture as well. And then when you turn the page, you see the whole family. So that is what I'm planning to do as part of my opening. And I guess that's it. So I am just gonna go ahead and get started on my album. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and work on my opening first so I can get that done. Now I'm gonna go through my Allie Edwards kit and I have a couple things that I knew for sure I wanted to use on my opening. So I'm pulling out all these little packages of just kind of the smaller embellishments and I'm going to get those kind of rearranged. The first thing I want to do is I definitely want to use one of these rubber wreaths here. I'm going to use this green one that just goes around in a circle. And then I have these really thick acrylic letters that I got at Hobby Lobby quite a while ago. And I pulled out an S to use there. And then I have a little metal circle that says bright, which actually came in my Noel Mignon kit for December, but I saved it for this because I knew I wanted to use it on my opener. And I'm using these diamonds here and I'm going to put that on top of one of them. I'm gonna use all three of these red acrylic stars in one pocket. And then I will use two of these hand-drawn wood veneer stars up on the top. And then a couple of these little circle die cuts. One says stories, one says joy, one says merry making, and I will use three of those up. And then a couple of these red felt hearts as well. And then I also had this bow that is from a previous Noel Mignon kit and I wanted to save it because it has green and red on it. So I'm gonna use that on here too. And then I am going to pull out these wood veneer circles and I'm going to use one of them and it says December all around it. And then I'm also going to pull out a card here and I'm going to fussy cut out one of the sentiments on one of these cards and it's this one right here. And it has kind of, uh, it says, tis the season, uh, stories of December life, and uh, something else on the bottom there. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and cut around this. I'm gonna have the green showing. So I'm just uh, taking my scissors and cutting down. And then I'm gonna realize that it actually won't fit inside the pocket, but it's okay. I'm gonna have it just overlapping and it's not a problem for me. So I'll actually have it outside of the page protector overlapping it and it doesn't bother me. I actually really like the way it looks. So I'm gonna have it uh, layered on top of the wood veneer circle there. 
So I'm kind of rearranging things to where I really like them and I'm going to go ahead and stick things in the pockets. I'm going to cut down this diamond because obviously it won't fit in there so I'm just cutting little edges off and it becomes kind of a hexagon shape. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, use some glue dots to put these down here too and stick that right on top of the page protector along with the bow here. I'm just putting some glue dots on top of the foam strip that holds it up. Put that down and just stick everything else in the pockets here. These stars don't want to stay in very well because they're pretty thick. So I kind of have to battle them a little bit. And then I have these two little uh, diamonds that I'm going to staple together and have them layered on top of each other. And I'm going to stick that down here on the bottom. And then I'm going to set that aside while my fuse tool heats up because I'm going to seal all the way across all of those squares so everything stays in. All right so for my six by eight photo I'm going to add a piece of gold washi tape there and I'm going to put one of these large felt hearts on top of that as well and then I'm going to use one of these little word strips here that says family I think it says family is what it's all about or it's all about family Family is everything. There we go. I was close. <laughs> Family is everything. So I cut that out. I'm going to clean up the edges because it's just really hard to get those off and I don't like the corrugated edges. I cut it into a banner on one side and I'm going to stick that right underneath the heart and kind of tuck it underneath there. And then for the Santa picture, I am going to need to cover up the bottom little flag there in the red because that says 2017 on it, but when I printed my picture, it didn't print out that part of it for some reason. I probably just needed to shift my picture up a little bit when I was choosing it, but it's okay. I'm just going to cover it up with this um, cutoff of that green card that I used on my opening page. And I'm going to use the circle chipboard piece that says Santa, and I'm just gonna stick that right in the center there. So I just kinda covered it up and made it my own. And uh, at this point, I go and I use my fuse tool and I have uh, sealed everything up. So now I'm going to put my wreath and my S down on top of the page protector because it would not fit inside of the circle there. So I'm going to uh, just go ahead and stick it on top of the page protector again. And these glue dots um, are great for that. They really stick everything down pretty well. And those are scotch glue dots that I got, I think at Office Max maybe, quite a while ago. I still have a ton left. <laughs> All right, so I got my S down there. And so that is my opening page. And things are gonna shift around, you know, and do all that, and that's fine. That doesn't bother me at all. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick these six by eights in here because those are done. And then I will start working on day one and I'm gonna go ahead and have to grab my um, page protectors here. I'm gonna grab a two four by six one and then one that has a four by six on the bottom and two three by fours on the top and I'm gonna go ahead and start there. So for day one I grabbed this December daily card that came in the kit and on the back there's a little note from Allie which was really nice but this is such a nice title card because it literally says December daily 2017 on it and I was like that's perfect. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of these self-adhesive sequins on it and the adhesive comes off all the time so um, <laughs> I had to kind of battle with it a little bit but I got two on there. And then for day one I'm going to be talking about our elf on the shelf Jake. I don't need any journaling on this one honestly because I have you know done layouts about him and he's been in every single December daily so I'm just not going to worry about doing any more journaling. There's really nothing to say we have an elf on the shelf and there he is. So I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to cut down this 4x6 card that says bring on the Mary and I'm going to add his picture on there to make it a 4x6 since it is a 3x4 picture. I'm going to separate it a little bit with some of this gold star washi tape. So I'm going to stick that down and then add his picture on here and I'm just going to measure it to make sure it's going to be the good size and I'm going to stick that in. I did forget the number. I'll go back and do that here in a second. Um, because at one point I go, wait, I'm not putting any numbers down. What am I doing? <laughs> so uh, day two is going to be uh, a couple things here. 
we had an open house at our public library here, which is the library that I volunteer at all the time. So I went and helped with that and the girls went with me. And so I grabbed one of the flyers that they created for that open house for the advertisement for it. And I am going to just um, fold it in half so that, you know, you can read it on the, on both sides, you can read the whole thing. And I cut it down a little bit on the sides so that it fit right in that six by eight. So I will just put that in there. And then at the top picture is Santa and Mrs. Claus reading the Polar Express. And that was one of the activities at the open house. They came and they um, read Polar Express to the kids. And then this one right here that I'm working on, I added a piece of gold washi tape and then put a little circle here that says joys of giving. And that is Kaylin helping pass out cookies to the people of our town. And um, that was one of the things that we did after the reading. We passed out cookies and hot chocolate to anyone who uh, came and got in line and everything. So Kaylin was helping pass them out and it just made my heart so happy that she was, you know, so willing and excited to help out and to do that. And she didn't ask for any cookies for herself. She just, she passed them out until they were gone and you, I could tell she was having a great time doing that. All right, so I'm going to finish off day two with a picture of two football helmets down there because my Georgia Bulldogs played in their conference championship and they won and it was awesome. Um, I did write that library story on that card right there that says story. So I just talked about, um, you know, us volunteering there. And then for this picture here, I have, you know, the Georgia helmet and the Auburn helmet there and I'm putting the score of the game. So I'm using the white number stickers that came in the kit and it was 28 to seven. And then I'm going to grab some of these Kelly Perky letter stickers and I'm going to spell out uh, Georgia with a colon SEC champions because we uh, won that championship game, which means we are going to the playoffs, which is really exciting. So if I have any um, Oklahoma friends over here, we're gonna have to not be friends on that day on January 1st, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to root against you, but um, it was a great game. I loved that, uh, watching that game go down because we really just dominated and it was amazing. All right, so now I grabbed this red and white striped card and this is where I'm going to do my number. So I put a piece of gold washi tape down there. I'm grabbing all the numbers I need here because I realized I forgot to do that. So I just pulled them all out there. And I am going to do the number two or the number one, sorry, right here on um, the elf thing. I just can't believe I forgot. So I'm just going to stick it right there. <laughs> so there's number one. And number two, I'm going to grab a large diamond here and I'm going to just kind of layer them on top of each other and I was afraid of these diamonds because diamonds are not really a shape that I use all that much but I'm I'm excited that I've been able to kind of use them as grounding points for my numbers at least that's what I've kind of been doing for some of these here so I got um, I stapled it down onto the card and then put the number two down there and then I want to add one more thing on here. I'm going to grab these little um, circles, die cuts, and I'm going to grab one that says cheer because we were definitely cheering for the Bulldogs that day. <laughs> and also spreading cheer by handing out, you know, cookies and hot chocolate. So it has a little bit of a double meaning there. So I really like the way that that turned out. And then I am going to go on to day three and day three is about gingerbread house that was not super successful this year. It's kind of a hot mess. I got like this really cute minions themed gingerbread house when I was at the commissary and I got it probably like a month and a half ago just because I saw it there and I was like, oh, I'm going to grab this while it's here. And we started putting it together, didn't read the directions, which is, you know, our fault, but we couldn't get the roof to stay on for some reason. And then the walls wouldn't stay up and it was kind of just all over the place. Finally, we got it to work, but as you can see, the frosting is all over the place. It's such a mess. The girls don't care. They're just waiting for us to let them eat it. But um, yeah, it's kind of a hot mess. And then um, my camera ran out of memory, so I had to go and... Um, empty my camera so I could continue but I realized I had this little uh, my mind's eye circle 
thing that said elf so I wanted to use that on there which I completely forgot about so I put it over the star on that card there that you just saw and now I'm gonna go back to these here so day four was kind of one of those days that it was a Monday and just like everything was not going very well so I'm gonna use this card here and uh, it says um, not the best December day I think is what it says there so I'm just making like a little bullet list of everything that happened. I overslept. I slept through my alarm, which means it was a mad dash to get to school. We weren't late, but we were like really, really super rushed. I think I woke up 15 minutes before we were supposed to leave. And um, luckily the girls were already up and had made themselves breakfast and everything, which they do every morning. But oh my gosh, um, it was just crazy. And then um, I had to get blood work done at the clinic, which is fine, but you know, it's just it's never fun, you know, going and having to get blood work done. And, um, I had issues with dinner when I was making dinner, like it wasn't turning out the way it was supposed to be turning out. And it was just not the best day. So, <laughs> and then I was reading a book that I wasn't really enjoying, but I needed to read it. So it was just kind of like, ugh. um, so I just took advantage of that card and used it for that. Hopefully I won't have any more of those days this month. And then day number five, we are going to be uh, talking about Kaylin being in her school spelling bee. She decided that she wanted to uh, participate in the spelling bee. She did it last year as well, and she wanted to do it again this year. So uh, she didn't study quite as much as she could have, and so I wasn't sure how she was going to do, honestly. But I went to go see her do it. And there were 52 kids who participated. That girl ended up in eighth place out of 52 kids. I was so incredibly proud of her. And she just knocked it out. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so it was fantastic. Um, so I'm going to talk about that. And I am also talking about... Um, after that, I went and ran like a ton of errands because I have a ton of like, you know, holiday parties and gifts to buy, you know, for these parties and just kind of like, you know, little things here and there that I just needed to buy little things to finish up gift bags, you know, teacher gifts. And I did a Secret Santa thing and we ha were doing a white elephant, you know, for my husband's work and blah, blah, blah. So it was just kind of like I was finishing up those little tiny details after that as well. So I used that card there and I put one of those little half circle journal um, pieces of paper on it and then I cut out this little word here from that um, little strip that says currently. So I'm going to put the currently down and then um, talk about that kind of stuff. I don't have any pictures from the spelling bee. I took video but I don't have pictures so I'm just going to leave it at that. I don't need to print anything out. And then I'm going to put the five down there. And then I will do my journaling um, about the spelling bee and running so many errands. <laughs> I really like these half circle journaling papers. I think it, that's just brilliant. And it allows, you know, you to use one of the decorative cards without feeling like you're wasting it, I guess you could say. You're still getting your journaling done. I think it's just genius. All right, so I got that done. And then my next one is going to be about Bible study. I am in a women's Bible study here locally, and I pulled out that King of Kings card from the um, religious cards that I got from Allie, and I just talked about the study that we're doing and that I just really enjoy going to Bible study every week and talking with these women, and it really helps keep me kind of grounded and balanced, and I just really enjoy every time I go. And um, on the bottom, that picture there is of my Bible open to Matthew, which is the book that we are doing this year. And then my study book is underneath that as well. And I am going to use this little wreath, little red wreath here, and I'm going to stick that right there and then put the number right in the center of that. And then I use a little bit of that skinny washi tape up on the journaling card as well. It's just such a great little detail. And then on today seven, I'm talking about weather because we had a cold front come through in the last week 
or the first week of December, sorry. Um, it's been in the 20s every night and only in the 30s and 40s every day, and it's pretty windy. So kind of just a little cold front. We didn't get any snow or anything. Um, oops, pardon me. <laughs> I'm actually making plans to go have tacos with my girlfriends uh, that night, actually, and that's going to be my day eight because we have our weekly date night, so I'm, that's going to be day eight happening. So on day eight, I'm making day eight plans. <laughs> um, and so I took this little uh, screenshot of my weather app, which is called What the Forecast, which is hilarious. If you guys are interested in that, I would, you know, it's in iTunes or it's in the app store. Sorry. It's just so funny. It has the funniest little sayings. The one on mine there says frigid, just like your mom. <laughs> and, uh, you can use a vulgar setting or a non-vulgar setting and either way they're funny, but I use the vulgar setting just cause it's, it's hilarious. I, it makes me laugh all the time. Um, and then I cut out a word strip that says, baby, it's cold outside. And then on this card here, I'm adding the day and all that. And I will do the journaling about it being cold outside, even though luckily we didn't get any snow. Um, I'm, I'm praying for no snow this year. I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but I just, I'm not a fan of snow. So that's what I'm praying for this year. I don't know if I'll get that an prayer answered, <laughs> but we didn't have any this week and it was projected. So luckily we, we got to miss all that. And now it's starting to go back up into the fifties and sixties for the next two weeks. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but that's going to be it guys. So I'm going to talk to you here live again in just a second and kind of flip through it with you and show you what it looks like in the album. Okay guys, so I have finished the first seven days of my December daily. I'm pretty happy with it. I am going to zoom in here, so pardon me. Hopefully I won't let it be too shaky. Just because my desk is a huge mess right now, as you can see. So I'm going to try to get most of this out of the way. <laughs> um, okay, so this is my opening page here. Like I said, I tried to have almost everything be almost completely see-through. And I used my fuse tool to seal everything in however I'm not very good with that tool and like here is just a huge mess it is all closed but it's just a giant mess right there I don't know I'm having issues using the fuse tool for some reason I don't have as much luck with it as some people seem to have so I don't know whatever it's closed that's all that matters <laughs> but I really like the way that this ended up turning out and then this is a six by eight picture of my family that we took at my husband's work. There is a spouse in the squadron who does photography. So she was offering to do family pictures for everybody. So we took her up on that offer. And so uh, this is us here. And I have this big felt heart that I really like. And then this little piece here says family is everything. And then this is the girl Santa picture from this year. We got it done really early. I have the Allie Edwards December Daily card up here and it says December Daily 2017. I put a couple sequins on there. And then day one here is our elf and I put the little elf sticker over the star that was there. It says bring on the Mary. This is the uh, library event that we went to. So Santa and Mrs. Claus read the Polar Express to a bunch of children and then afterwards the girls helped me pass out cookies and hot chocolate to people who live in our city which is awesome and then uh, this little um, circle says the joys of giving this is a printout of the event so I just folded that in half and put it in here day two uh, that was part of day two and then here is also um, I did all the journaling about it and then also um, my team Georgia played in the conference championship that day as well and we won as you can see we beat Auburn which is awesome so we won the championship for the conference and we're going to the playoffs for the national title which is super super awesome. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I got that in there too. That's a big deal in our house. Day three is the gingerbread house and I journaled about that because it was not the best experience. <laughs> and day four was just kind of, it was a Monday and it was crazy and, you know, just, it wasn't the best day. So I used this little card here that I was really excited to see in the kit because I knew, you know, I was going to have at least one of those days and that was one. And then day five is journaling about my daughter Kaylin being in the spelling bee. She came in eighth place out of 52 kids, which was super awesome. And so I use one of these little 
um, paper pads here, one of these little half circle paper pads, and I went ahead and journaled on that. And then day six is my Bible study. So I have my Bible study book, my Bible open to Matthew, which is the book that we're studying this year. And then I use one of my uh, religious cards here that says King of Kings, and I did the journaling for that. And then day seven is weather because we had a cold front come through the first week of December and it was really super cold. It got down into the 20s every night and it was only 30s and 40s during the day. Um, it's going back up into the 50s and 60s here soon. So I'm really excited about that because I'm not a big fan of the cold. I'm from Florida. So <laughs> no, I don't like this kind of stuff, even still. Um, we've been here three years and I still don't like the winters here, but all right, so that is where I am so far in my December daily. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my process. I know these videos are going to be long, but, you know, I am trying to do like a week at a time. So bear with me. I hope you can enjoy it, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Have a great day. Bye.